Hi, welcome to Wiki Tiki and Cash and Rug. This is Venkat here. Today I'm going to talk about the great topic React Props. So under my React JS tutorials, I'm going to talk about the React JS properties, like uh, how the data is transferred from the calling point to the functions or to the classes. That is the one I'm going to discuss now. Are you ready? So today I'm going to talk about uh, the clap, like a uh, React JS properties, and this is my consecutive video I'm talking in the React JS tutorial and i'm going to show you the live demo like how we can pass the parameters what is the nature of the properties and how it works and apart from that i'm going to show you the live like example of how it works okay this is our entire concepts we are going to talk about in our video react js properties you may ask me a question what is the property sir properties are nothing but the parameters i got the text box from the text box i'm trying to like, send some data in that case, like a property is really important. Before that, my company Kashivi and Fortan. So our company, like we are providing internships and conducting courses for the students to get job, to build your profile via online and offline. You can contact us anytime for any kind of help. And note to the companies and recruiters, if any of the HRs, company people look into this video, I request you people, please share your job description to us. We are ready to send out trained candidates without any charges you can send it to this particular mail id and apart from that note to these students if any of my cash in for the core students are there please contact me at any time we are ready to send you people for the job opportunities we got plenty of opportunities if any people like career break technology change if you're looking for degree in completion please contact us we are ready to help you and this is kind of a social service we are doing it for people okay anyway like let's move on here <laughs> react js properties before that okay this is my insta account for any kind of technical doubts any kind of career doubts please contact me treat me as a brother i am ready to help you here is my cash of info tech. this is my insta account click this follow button contact me at any time here's my contact number and whatsapp number. send the whatsapp message or insta message i'm ready to respond to you okay so here is a part one so we are going to talk about the basic concepts of how the react js components of the properties works and uh, i'm going to show you the explanation about the code and the live practical examples i'm going to run the code i'll show you like, how it works these are the three areas we are going to see today <laughs> the part one the react properties that is called props properties in the sense like every time the data will change the, on the situation and we need to analyze it that is where your properties comes over here you are able to see i got a class class course and obviously class will have the render method and react dom dot render of course the class i'm going to call it okay so i go i'm going to like a render the class and this is how we'll be writing the coding now i'm going to send a prep like a parameter brand equal to web design i'm going to send a parameter to the class so the property is your web design the brand is a property with the value web design and this can be accessed over here using this dot props dot brand obviously the value will go here this is how the properties are called okay on the other end so you may ask me a question sir how about the functions sir you discuss about the classes how about the functions sir over there in the classes we need to render and in function we will be having a return so return function over here you can see it here function my function my fun props you have to pass it as a parameter in class no need of parameters directly you can access over here i'll pass it as a parameter here props the props will have the parameter the property value okay and the function is returning and i'm putting it an element and afterwards react dom dot render so they're very simple concept now over here you can see it here brand equal to wiki tiki so this is the parameter of props we are going to use it properties props the function will have the props as brand the brand value will be called over here okay the function will be utilizing it and you will be getting this dot props dot brand or props dot brand no need of this also yes i got the parameter here i can directly use it props dot brand this is how your function works okay so we have discussed about the classes and functions of the properties and congrats to all my cashier info tech place the students so some many of my students have got placed in different big companies so i wish you all the very best for every one of you people okay all the very best for getting placed and trusting our company and we got plenty of opportunities in our company people please please contact me i'm ready to help you this is one opportunity related to php 
and this is an another opportunity like they are looking for a fresher software engineer general software engineer with dotnet and python sorry dotnet and python and they are looking for xml and html operations and this is another opportunity and that is a recruitment for 150 plus candidates in java oh, that's awesome man java 150 people that's really awesome so node.js like a web designing developers and java script developers they are looking for and they are looking for software testing and manual and automation testing engineers that's awesome and there are plenty of opportunities you can contact me anytime i am ready to help you now it's time for me to move to the next area the properties of the class component react.js let's move on to the coding part how the coding works so that's the one we are going to see it now so props in the class component in react.js now i got the html with the props this dot props dot brand can you remember like a previous we have done it so this is the html and it is returning so returning html code that is a code that's really awesome so it's a class right so rendering will be the rendering functionality should be written for the class that's awesome class course extends react dot component okay so if it is a class you have to extend it using react dot component that is awesome the base class should be react dot component okay so the nt class is ready that's awesome man so this is the html code for rendering and the nt class is ready that's awesome man Oh, that's awesome, man. Now we are going to okay, render it. Okay, we need to pass the parameter and we need to render it. So that is the one we are going to see it now. React DOM dot render. So that is the one we are going to write the code. Okay, so so we have to write like a React DOM dot render. Okay. Yes, a React DOM dot render. You are able to see course brand equal to web design. The brand equal to web design is moving here, and you got the cache React. The web design value will be staying here web design course you'll be getting this kind of output okay so what's your course brand web design slash you have to close it document or get so this is the usual code we'll be writing for react.js so this is how your code works okay so i got the parameter pass it here and from here it will be passed here so this is how your class component works that's awesome man okay so if you want to like here so before going further on the function code so here is me so here is my social accounts we are in the social accounts you can contact me anytime so this is my cashew info tech insta account click this follow button contact me contact number whatsapp number this is my telegram group telegram group to join so telegram group to join and you got i got my facebook page you can you can contact me via my facebook my linkedin account my twitter account everything is cashew info tech you can contact me anytime i'm ready to respond to you i can help you okay yes now let's, I'm looking for a message from you people. Okay, so send, send me a message. Function component in React.js. That is the one we are going to see now. So function component in the sense like, um, yes, um, function component. So welcome to WikiTiki. That is awesome, man. I think, uh, yeah, it's a very normal code I've written. So that is a property, man. So I already is returning a HTML code. So function, welcome return welcome to wikitiki that is the html code that is awesome this is a function component in react.js a simple okay this is a react.js code to call this function this is the usual code we have written now function component i'm going to use the props now let's see like how the properties can be used <laughs> over here in the properties as i told you welcome to oh where is wikitiki man that is a property props dot brand okay returning it and now i'm going to have a function so I should have a function, right? That is a function. Mm -hmm. So we should have a function for that. Okay, the properties and uh, like properties and properties is here, and this is the entire HTML returning the code. Ah, oh, over here you can see it here. This is a function name, and this is the parameters. The parameters will be having multiple data. The function parameters is here, and it is having multiple data. And this is the entire function component. You are able to see it here. Function call with the parameters, and yeah, that's uh, really awesome. This is the properties pass. That is awesome, man. So I gave a clear idea about how it works. That's awesome, man. Now it's a React DOM dot render. This is a React JS code. Now my function brand is going to call it here. That is awesome. The brand equal to WikiTig is here. Oh, that's awesome, man. My WikiTig is coming here. That's awesome, man. Now friend, welcome to WikiTig is the data I received. That's awesome. So I I made a fantastic explanation for you people. Now hope you all understand like how the entire code works, people. Okay, this is how the entire function props works. Okay, that's awesome, man. So I gave a clear idea like how the function props works. Now let's move on here. Function the multiple properties. Now, like let's move on to multiple properties, man. Welcome to props dot brand props dot value. Oh, we got two properties. I'm going to pass two parameters to call this particular function. 
let's see how it works <laughs> that's awesome i made a great uh, like a design i guess hope like you just give me a comment if you like it. <laughs> function my function of props oh we'll be passing one parameters the parameter will be having multiple parameters inside it man that's awesome man function name and function parameters that is really awesome now i got the function this is the parameters i'm passing my fun brand equal to wiki tiki value equal to cashew so function call with the parameter one function call with the parameter two that's awesome hmm. now React DOM from render, you are able to see. I'm calling the element, so you are able to see my function is called by wiki again. Kashim and Futek. Only this data is passed and it is placed here and is placed here. Oh, welcome to wiki tiki and Kashim. That's really good. This is how the code works. This is how the code works. This is how your multiple parameters works in React JS. <laughs> In React JS, so multiple function with the multiple parameters. Oh, I'm making more complex. So multiple functions with the multiple parameters. Okay, so I got the function now. So I got the function. That's really awesome. That's I really got like yeah. Yeah, let's see like how it works. So this is my property one and property two. I got the function, my fun of props. The, this is the function component in React JS. There is another function I got main my fun. And this function, it got two parameters. The one is like a yeah, single one, and it, this guy is calling this function. Okay, this is it's a sub function of sub function. Now I'm calling the main function here. This is the main function I called. Okay, this is how the entire code works. Okay, I got one function. There is another function. This function is calling this guy, and uh, I'm calling this main function. This is how it works. Okay, so hope you got an idea. Let's see this one practically so that you will get more idea on how this multiple function with the multiple parameters works in React.js. Let's move on to the live implementation parts. So before going further, many people used to ask me a question, sir, I want to become a web design expert, sir, how, what I can do, how I can build my profile, it's really simple people. So go for internships or courses, okay, you can go to any other company or just come to my company, I'm ready to help you people. So we are providing internships and courses via online and offline. You may ask me a question, what is internships? Are? Internship is nothing but just go to your company, gain a lot of real-time experience, gain the experience from that, you can go for a job. That is called internships. Please plan for internship to get a genuine experience. If you're looking for your web design courses or something like that, learn it as a package, people. Learn multiple courses as a package. So learn web designing, learn networking, Learn .NET or Java or Python and SQL Server or Oracle. Any like you need to learn multiple packages. The reason is like, sir, I didn't get a job in web designing. You can go with .NET developer, a networking engineer or a Oracle developer. So we have to build your profile as a package. Learn multiple technology to build your profile. Okay, so this is how the minimum salary is twenty thousand one hundred flags they're paying per month. Safest opportunity, any degree, any department people can go for this one. And the work change in nature is like kind of coding part and learning web designing technologies, you will be master. I gave my contact number, WhatsApp number, you can contact me at any time. You may ask me, question, sir, I want to learn web designing, sir. What I need to learn, sir? Just go to this link. I'll put this link in the description. Okay, kashivinfo.com slash online iPhone web development internship. Just you can see it here, just scroll down, you are able to see lots of topics. Learn everything and build your profile. I'll put this link in the description, just go and watch it. And apart from that, you got a lot of interview questions also. I place a lot of interview questions in my page, just go and watch it and learn it. Okay, now let's move on to the React component works. So, your live implementation parts. Okay, so I'll go to my wikidiki.com now. So, wikidiki.com slash tutorials slash react just go to this website just go to this website okay just scroll down react props overview is here over here i got the definitions and details and everything is listed here i got an, an animation here you can see the function with the props brand i put it an element and call the element react dom dot render now i'm going to execute this one once if i try to execute it you got the outputs so wiki tiki tutorial welcome to wiki tiki tutorial wiki tiki tutorial is the parameter 
Vigiligi dot like Vigiligi tutorial is a parameter. So this is how your React JS works with the functions. Now let's talk about the multiple functions over here. You can see the multiple functions here. Okay, so multiple via function. Another function is in the bottom, and uh, I'll try to show you like how it works. So here is the code and everything. Just go to my website and learn as much as you can. Okay, so wikidiki.com slash tutorial slash react. Just go there and start learning it. Okay, hope you enjoy my video today. Like uh, I, I made a great work and I really worked very hard to build uh, the technology for you people. You try it and please share to your friends. Our company, Kashi Info, we are providing online internships and offline internships at my Chennai office. You can contact me at any time. Treat me as a brother. And uh, I request you people to share this part of your video to your friends and everyone. Let's spread the good things to everyone and let's build the society. It's time for me to say goodbye to you. Jai Hind. This is Vankit signing out from Wikitiki and Kashi Info. Thank you.